Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. A lot of the ingredients that help to fight acne tend to be a little bit drier on the skin, such as benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, as well as retinol. So it's really important to make sure that you have a good, thick moisturizer, regardless of your skin type, that won't clog your pores. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite thick moisturizers for acne-prone skin, whether you have dry acne, combination, or oily acne skin there's something here for you and I also have a few from different price points as well if this is your first time seeing my face my name is Lakeisha and on this channel I post a lot of skincare lifestyle makeup and hair related videos if that is something you're interested in then make sure you are subscribed without further ado let's get started Jumping right in, the first moisturizer that I've really fallen in love with for acne prone skin is the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Cream. Now for this one, I've already done a brand review where I've pretty much reviewed their entire collection, so click it above. So this one, I'd say it's kind of like a, a mix between a jelly and a cream texture, so it's not the thickest product that you'll find, but if you have oily skin or combination skin, this sometimes will be thick enough for you. And what I love most about it is that it's made with 70% Centella. Centella is a beautiful calming ingredient for your skin. It's going to help de-stress and soothe any irritation and redness. A big point of having acne is the inflammation that your skin gets. This is going to help to soothe that. Yes, it does have a little bit of a scent. It has a lavender, orangey, tea tree oil type of scent, but it's not irritating at all. It's very calming to the skin and I actually think it's very medicinal. The next moisturizer is one that I've already finished, so I don't have it with me anymore, but this is the Versed Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. It retails for $25. Now this company is really known for being a very clean brand, so all of the ingredients for suit as well if that's something that you're interested in and you really want to support this is a clean brand that you can try um this moisturizer is really thick like when i say it's a thick i mean girl <laughs> this moisturizer is a really thick soothing cream i found that with my combination oily skin i didn't get any excessive greasiness on my face which i definitely love um if you're somebody with dry skin you're gonna like this as well just because it, it is so moisturizing i think if you have more oily skin just use a little bit less you don't need a lot of it at all some of the ingredients in here it has hydrogenated poly so Butene, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, but essentially this forms like a film over your skin. So the colors aren't bad when it comes to moisturizers. It's more of like a mesh so that it, it just stays in the outer layer. It doesn't actually absorb into your skin. But what that's gonna do is make sure that you're retaining moisture, you're retaining water into the skin, and it's gonna stop that from evaporating, which is essential if you're trying to prevent transepidermal water loss. The next moisturizer is, I would say in my opinion, the thickest out of all of these that I have. This one is the Naturium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This one was actually gifted to me from Naturium. Once again, this is one of those clean brands. I do have a whole brand review on this um, line as well so click it above to see but I really really love this cream it is thick when I tell you it is thick like it is shea butter thick butter butter thick I've used this pretty much every night since I've gotten it and it just melts like butter into the skin it feels amazing and it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy i would say just pat it down afterwards pat it into your face the trick i found if you do have combination oily skin and you're using a thick moisturizer definitely make sure that you're not using too much of it and also pat it into your skin when you're done putting it in just like pat it down onto your skin it's really going to help i have not experienced any breakouts with this product at all um, and it's definitely because of the ingredients notable ingredients in here we have oleic linoleic and linoleic polyglycerides and these are natural ceramides that moisturize your skin um, moisture is the key to anti-aging Honestly, I think that we should get a different word for that because um, aging beautifully, aging gracefully is beautiful. So, um, but it combats like wrinkles and inlines on your face by plumping up the skin as well and just keeping it moist. Moist skin doesn't wrinkle. It has shea butter. Like we said, this has a base of shea butter specifically. So the scent of this product as well is shea butter. No added ingredients, no added fragrances, I should say specifically. Um, has squalane, once again, one of my favorite oils for acne prone skin. It also has crambe abyssinica seed oil. I don't believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is a naturally derived fatty acid that naturally helps to 
calm down inflammation in the skin and that is absolutely something that acne prone skin needs i've talked about this for forever acne prone skin is prone to inflammation so anything that's going to help calm that down soothe it and prevent it is exactly what we're looking for the next moisturizer is one that i actually have been hearing about for so long and honestly it took me so long to try it for i don't know what reason but this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream for intense hydration uh, for dry skin and this is beautiful um when i when I first started using this I kind of was a bit turned off because I it started to sting my face and I couldn't for the life of me understand what was going on because um, this is a very basic moisturizer there's not a lot of ingredients in here there's not a lot of like there's no fragrances there's no anything in there and for some reason it was just making my skin sting like it would burn and so I was like okay maybe this is just for some reason not for me but then I started using the one from CeraVe as well. I've been using the CeraVe one for forever. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about CeraVe, but um, that was burning my face as well. And that's when I discovered that I had dehydrated skin, is compromised skin barrier. And that's why these were making my skin itchy. So now that my skin barrier has been rebuilt and reconformed, um, this doesn't burn at all, <laughs> okay? This one is described on their website as a heavy cream, and it definitely truly is, um, but it does absorb really quickly. Same thing with the others. You don't need a lot of it, especially if you do have more combination oily skin. It's not gonna close your pores. It's not gonna break you out, even though it's thick. Some of the notable ingredients in this is shea butter, one of my favorite butters for skin in general. General, um, as well as hair as well mm. so some of the notable some of the notable ingredients in here is shea butter uh, one of my favorite butters in general for the skin it is just so beautiful that's pretty much the only thing I use to moisturize my body and uh, according to all of these ingredients my face as well um, it has squalane once again you see the common thread here it has something called allotonin which is a calming ingredient it's very soothing to the skin and it also has collodial oatmeal which is beautiful for anyone with eczema any skin issues stuff like that so really gonna be very intense repair the name is 100% backed up by the ingredients in here and how it behaves on your skin the next moisturizer is one that was actually gifted to me from guest style um, this is the snail bee high content steam cream and I actually did a video already a skincare routine showing this on my skin 100% love this thing um, so this one is notably pH balanced it has a very fluffy texture it's a very light texture until you put it on your skin and i always feel like this one's a little bit deceiving because it looks like it's going to be just a lotion but it's actually quite thick and i believe the reason for the texture feeling so different is because of the whole steam technology that they use with this so it's steamed at a very high temperature which helps to make the ingredients just even that more efficacious on your skin, which is what we're here for, right? So some of the ingredients in here is the bee venom, which actually helps to increase the production of collagen in your skin. Um, collagen is already present in your skin, but anything that's gonna help fortify that even more is definitely gonna work well. It also has snail mucin, and this is one of the ingredients that I've really found a love for in the K-Beauty resurgence. My relationship with snail mucin has pretty much only been in like a gel texture and it reminds me of aloe vera the way that it applies on your skin i have the whole line from here so i'm probably going to do a brand review on this one too but um snail mucin is one that i feel like there needs to be a little bit more research in because there's not really anything backed up that shows as far as i'm concerned from what i've seen um the jury's still out on the claims that they have but but the story goes that when farmers would toil the land the snail mucin that ends up on their hands really made their hands extremely soft and you wouldn't expect someone who used their hands a lot to have very soft hands and they chalk that up to having snail mucin on their hands and actually getting snail mucin to specifically soothe their hands um and how many times can i say hands anyways but um, from anecdotal evidence has really really been helping and for me personally when I started using snail mucin I did notice a difference in the hydration content in my skin so I really do like this a lot. The last product is one that's a little bit more on the pricier side but it's one that I have actually really loved. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. As for the fragrance I don't really find this one stands out to me as a fragrant product. This doesn't have any 
added fragrance into it. It just smells clean, just like regular products. Um, you guys know that I'm not a big fan of fragrance in my products anyways, so that's totally fine with me. The goat milk is for all skin types. It has a very silky, luxurious texture, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or sticky at the end of it, which is beautiful. Goat milk has definitely been a treasure find for me. I've really enjoyed using it because I have a body lotion that also incorporates goat milk. This one is from Scottish Fine Soaps. I think I've talked about that before. It also features goat milk. And when I found this moisturizer, I was really excited to try it for my face as well. Goat milk has traditionally been used in Egyptian skincare to really help nurture and fortify your skin barrier. It is filled with amino acids and, and great proteins that really do help to rebuild the skin and replenish the skin. It has a very faint rose scent. Not quite rose, but I guess it's just the scent of milk. <laughs> it's not anything indistinct. It honestly feels like a floral scent to it, but nothing crazy, nothing that stands out to me. Love that once again, because I don't like fragrance in my products. Some of the notable ingredients, it has lactose from goat's milk, like we said. It also has milk polypeptides, which is going to be, once again, that skin barrier replenishing ingredient in there. Um, it has jojoba and avocado oils, really great for moisturizing the skin without causing your pores. It has aloe vera, so it's going to help to calm, soothe redness, all of that good stuff. It also has grapeseed and vitamin E oil, which is an antioxidant. It's going to help to scavenge the free radicals and stop them from fighting your skin cells. Um, so I really do enjoy this cream. It is a bit pricey, but you definitely don't need a lot of it. And I've completely finished this, so that just shows how much I love this cream. So those are my picks for my current favorite thick moisturizers for acne prone skin. Leave a comment down below and let us know what are you loving for a thick moisturizer. I would definitely love to know. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!